What's up in New Orleans, huh? 31-14 to loss to the Buccaneers. Galloway completely tears apart their secondary. Garcia has a very solid game. Only 10 completions, but 243 yards, so good job him. I underestimated him, and I think I underestimated this Bucks team. Um, <coughs> offensively, New Orleans just still kind of dead. Need to give the ball to Deuce McAllister more. Can't keep going feast or famine. Famine with these, you know, scat backs like Reggie Bush. And, you know, they're still trying to push the big play, even though they're going up against cover two defenses that don't really allow the big play. So, um, you know, that's really what's got to happen. Defensively, they just made the wrong decision. Jason David sucks, man. And I kind of suspected this when they, when they brought him in. I was thinking, you know, I'm not, I'm not totally sure that I buy into him. And so far, not so good. So, um, New Orleans is in a bit of a tailspin. We'll see if they can get things back on track against Tennessee next week. I personally think they will, but at this point, you never know. Dallas Hanley beats Miami 37-20. to Great showing by their offense once again. You know, not a perfect day by Tony Romo, but I'm sure he'll take it. Marrying and Barber tearing things up. As I say, he should be the starter. Uh, he broke that one long touchdown run right at the end. <coughs> um, I, I just like him a lot better than Julius Jones for several reasons, and I prefer speed over power in this league. So there you go. Um... Owens continues to play great. I got him on one of my fantasy teams so far. I'm really happy with that decision. And that Dallas defense, they're still giving up a lot, but they are forcing turnovers, four picks on the day. And um, where is DeMarcus Ware? Still no sacks two games into the season. So um, I don't know. We'll see. As for Miami, man, Trent Green, I can't necessarily blame you, but four picks... No. No, not against this defense. You should you're better than that. You're a veteran in this league and well, Ronnie Brown, I got the similar things to say to you. I don't really I mean if you look at what the Giants will a were able to do last week, uh, I think this is a better offense than that. Maybe not by much. Also fun little stat, Ted Ginn Jr. has zero catches on the season. Um so um there you go. Moving on, Detroit beats Minnesota in overtime. I had Minnesota. I kind of bought into all day, maybe a little too early. He played all right. Not exactly explosive or punishing like he was last week, but he played all right. Um, but, man, Tavares Jackson, maybe my pl faith in you was misplaced because, man, you blow. You blow. Lou on Sunday, man. Four picks to the Lions. Uh-uh, man. You're lucky that the game was as close as it was. So John Kitna, eight more wins to go. He played well, got that concussion, came back in heroically, led the Lions down the field in OT. Roy Williams continues to be a monster. I've always kind of liked this guy. Ever since last year, after, he, you know, I don't really like cocky wide receivers, but he's a special talent all around. Uh, you know, they had no running game, and they still managed to throw up 20 and win against a team that I think is solid. So, um, there you go. I still expect decent things out of this year, year for Minnesota. Tavares Jackson, too early to say much of anything. Really bad game for him, but we'll see. We'll see. Chicago beats Kansas City. Again, like I said, it was a little closer than we thought. Um, Devin Hester... Big return, touchdown. You all saw it, saw it by now, I'm sure. So um, maybe, so maybe he can be that guy that we haven't had in so long. The guy that can be a superstar at kick returner and punt returner year in and year out. Um, you know, kind of a slow day for both offenses. Heward played pretty well. I got to give him credit. Larry Johnson still struggling along. He's got no line, and you can tell he's just not 100% quite yet. But uh, gotta get that, gotta get that figured out. Um, you know, Chicago's only scored one offensive TD this season and was on a touchdown pass to an offensive lineman, so whatever you gotta do. And Cedric Benson, a 100-yard game. Good for him. Um, you know, question marks raised all around him, so nice to see him get back on track. Um, 
Baltimore beats New York a lot closer than I thought it would be. Good job by Kelly Clemens leading him down the field a couple times at the end to almost lead a spectacular comeback. And if that game goes into overtime, well, they got the momentum, so there you go. <clears throat> and, you know, Justin McCarrens kept dropping passes, and <clears throat> it was difficult to watch because, you know, he barely made the ro- he wasn't going to make the roster originally from what I, if what I understand is correct. And then he had a good preseason, so to see him kind of blow a potential win like this for the Jets, you got to wonder, is it Brad Smith's time to start playing the slot? Um, you know, hats off to Kyle Bowler, though, coming off the bench, having a solid game, putting together the win. Trevor Price going to be out three weeks with a broken something, broken wrist, I think. Big blow. Trevor Price is one of the more underrated players in this league. But, uh, one and one Ravens, <coughs> tied for second in the division. We'll see where they can go. This team is a huge question mark to me right now. Huge. Oh, fun little stat. Jets have no sacks on the season through two games, have given up nine, so they got to figure that out. I thought their pass rush was going to be solid this year. Woo. Was I wrong? You know, before the whole Bill Belichick thing, Mike Shanahan was considered the best coach in the league, and I still have an immense amount of respect for him. And that showed up against uh, Oakland, 23-20 to win in overtime for the Broncos. I mean, that timeout was genius. Some people call it a cheap tactic, but if you can use it, go ahead and use it. And Denver is now 2-0, and winning two very close games against two probably admittedly poor teams. But I'll, it's more than I can say, right? I would give anything to be able to beat those poor teams and be 2-0. and <clears throat> Whatever, right? Um, hats off to the Raiders, though. They played well. Really good running game once again. This run defense by Denver has got to come together, and it's got to come together now. But once again, hats off to Mike Shanahan. I got an immense amount of respect for what he's been able to do so far in his career and this season. Cutler, you know, he reminds me of Brett Favre, the good and the bad. He'll gunsling his way to victory, but he's going to throw picks left and right. <clears throat> so um, we'll see where this season goes for both of them. Kind of a gut wrencher for Oakland. Um, McCown, you know, McCown continues to play heroically, but um, I still, I'm still thinking maybe it's time to throw Cole Pepper out there and see what he can do for you. With the running game like this, they should have been able to win that game. And he had too many turnovers once again. So there you go. Um, Sunday night, New England destroyed San Diego. You know, I know when to admit I was wrong, and I was wrong. This New England team really is that good. Um, I'm sure you all saw it, or at least highlights of it. Brady shredding them apart, that running game, pushing around that vaunted run defense. Very little pass rush from San Diego, you know. I give credit to New England. They played a great game all around. You know, I love Rand- watching Randy Moss tear it up. I'm not going to lie. I don't care about the Patriots, really, either way, but nice to see Randy Moss back. But San Diego was flat, and I blame North Turner for this. And I blame that entire coaching staff, really. Um, they're a better team than what they showed on Sunday night, and that coaching staff, being all those new guys, <clears throat> they gotta figure a way to get things back on track, because this Denver, because they're in a surprisingly tough division. They're gonna be in a tough division race with Denver all year, in my opinion, so they gotta get things back on track. But great job by New England. Um, they would definitely be number two in my power rankings if I were to do them. Good job. Um, okay, last night, Philly disappointed me, man. 20-12 to 12 loss to Washington, and I know there are a lot of Eagle fans on here taking your lumps now, so I feel it. I feel your pain, man. We got the, you know, I honestly do feel we have the same coaching problems as you guys do. You guys got Andy Reid. We got Mike Holmgren. Same kind of good things to say about them and bad things. So, um, good luck the rest of the way. McNabb, obviously, still hampered by that injury. Got to get that figured out. Good job by Washington's secondary, shutting down the Eagles wide receivers one-on-one. I do blame the Eagles wide receivers for this game, though, not getting separation. 
Uh, Washington 2-0. Good race in the NFC East. I gotta go. Bye.